going on everyone good 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 thursday afternoon so breaking news sydney powell you know one of the election lawyers or one of trump's lawyers that was involved in the election here in georgia down in coffee county just pled guilty in lieu of probation and also an agreement to which she would have to testify against donald trump now Scott Hall done this, I, I want to say it was last month. He pled guilty. Um, he don't really have the, the, the same impact as Sidney Powell. There are 19 people, you know, in this indictment, Donald Trump being one of the 19. But there are like a handful of them that has a lot of dirt on Donald Trump. <clears throat> Therefore, those particular ones flipping against Donald Trump or the ones that could be, you know, the end of Donald Trump. Sidney Powell is one of them, okay? Uh, you look at Rudy Giuliani, of course, is the second one. And you look at Mark Meadows, is the third one, okay? And there are a couple of other ones out there. Uh, but with Sidney Powell flipping, it's, it's unique in its own way because at this time, Trump is currently going to trial right now in D.C. And the judge up there in, G in D.C., well, the, uh, the prosecutor up there in, in uh, D.C., um, wants most likely Sidney Powell to come up there and testify against Donald Trump and to probably take a plea deal so she won't be indicted on charges up there. Now, how does this bold towards Donald Trump? The people that are being charged with these felonies, okay, and, and that could be facing some serious time, I think are going to flip on Trump. Scott Hall flipped on him last month. Sidney Powell was facing seven years in prison, so that's why she took the six-year plea deal, okay, and then agreed to testify against Trump. So instead of her being, a, you know, on the defensive side, she can be on the prosecutor side. I put Rudy Giuliani in the thumbnail because you guys remember the infamous Inc. When his Inc. died running down from the side of his fucking face when he was lying about the election, right? Sidney Powell was there with Rudy Giuliani. Now, I believe Rudy Giuliani is going to be sweating bullets again because I know that Sydney has dirt on Rudy and, you know, most likely Rudy has dirt on Sydney. But they're both going to do the same thing and that's to avoid going to prison and that's to avoid being locked up behind Donald Trump. Uh, Rudy Giuliani was just ordered to pay a lot of money back to the two women that he had heckled down here in Georgia from the election fraud. And this is this is the thing when you are are a public figure and you are in power. Your words can resonate with other people, and those people could believe you and go to the ends and then start doing harassing type things. Now, eventually, those people got caught that was doing it, and now Rudy Giuliani got caught, and that means Rudy Giuliani most likely is going to be turning in a lot of evidence to the people that was hackling those people. So it, that's why it doesn't pay to fall into the trap or be manipulated behind people. You know, if you like that individual, that's fine. You know, support that individual. If that individual con you to make you do shit that you know is wrong to do because you think you can't get caught, and then you finally get caught, hey, that's on you. At the end of the day, I think most likely Donald Trump is going to probably come out and say something about all of this. Um... Sidney Powell is ordered not to speak about this at all. She can't hackle no one and, and can't say anything about this until this case is resolved. Otherwise, she run the risk of having a probation revoke and then she'll do prison time. Uh, you guys might be wondering, well, in lieu of her avoiding prison, what was the actual reason why she took the plea deal? I'll tell you why. If they can get a conviction on Trump, nine times out of ten, anyone that takes a plea deal, that 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 conviction will help to negate their probation, which means they'll be free because they help to convict the man that they're trying to convict, which is Donald Trump. But in case Donald Trump's beat the case, then they'll still have to do their, their share of punishment for allowing Donald Trump to quote unquote manipulate them to do what the fuck that they did. So this is just the beginning, guys. I, I've been telling you, a lot of you guys say, hey, you just a nigga. They don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been telling you, these people are going to flip. I know some of you guys are going to say, well, she's a female. Females always crack under pressure. Scott Hall's a guy. Mark Meadows is going to crack. 
He's a guy. He used to be the fucking commander in chief or the joint chief of staff. He's going to flip. We know Rudy's going to fucking flip. It's just a matter of time. Rudy's going to fucking flip. Okay? And a list of them. I, out of 19 people, we've seen two take a guilty plea. And that means if you, if, you, if you knock away Trump, there's roughly 16 people left. I think out of the 16, I can see about 10 of those flipping. 10 of those. I'm pretty sure Rudy's going to flip. He's Rudy Giuliani. He's going to fucking flip. Ain't no way that man's going to go to jail behind Donald Trump. He's going to flip. Uh, I expect down the line, if any more charges are being brought against, like uh, I, Marjorie Taylor Greene better watch it. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're eyeing her too. And if I'm a betting man, if, if they can pinpoint her and, and, and say she had anything to do with the elections, people like Dave Perdue and Kelly Loeffler and people like that, if they start to hem on them too, and say, hey, they had something to do with this election shit too, and they was pushing this fucking narrative, I guarantee you they're going to flip and flip too on Donald Trump. But right now, they ain't being indicted on nothing right now. But that could still happen because a lot of people in the Trump web is being targeted. And, and that's just the way it is. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, what, what was the name? Um, what's that? What's that woman name on CNN? Kaylee now, now what the fuck her name is. You, you guys know it, it'll come to me probably when I get off here, I'll put her name down in, in the bottom here, but, uh, you know, she's worked for CNN. Kaylee McEnany, her, she's worked for CNN. And she was like the biggest gun hold Trump supporter. She better be careful too. So a lot of them. Y'all got to think Steve Bennett is going to snitch? Roger Stone? If they're facing some serious prison time, mark my words, guys, they are going to flip. We're seeing it now with Sidney Powell. And if I'm a betting man, we're going to see it again here real soon. Uh, it won't surprise me in the next month or so we see Rudy Giuliani coming out, taking a guilty plea because Rudy is facing some serious time. He's facing some serious time. So I mean, Rudy's going to flip. And I know that's going to piss off a lot of you Trump supporters, but you got to look at the evidence. Look at everything that the FBI has on Trump from the Proud Boy shit to the January 6th shit to everything Trump been saying in those rallies. That stuff is archived. That is evidence against Trump. Now, I didn't agree with him having to pay that lady, Jean E. Carroll, whatever, that lady that claimed he sexual harassed her back in 1996, based off the tape that was leaked with him in that, in that bus with whatever the fuck his face was, saying he grew up women about the pussies and shit. I can understand that being as evidence, but I mean, you know, that was kind of like, okay, you're just pushing the narrative of that one. But everything else been caught on camera, and Trump's been the focal point for a lot of shit. So my advice to you, Trump supporter, you know, you better pray for your boy. It's, 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 it's going to get very, 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 very bad. And now I'm just saying that because it's indeed the truth. Okay. It's the truth. And they say the truth shall set you free. And so with that being said, What's the chances of Trump beating this case? I'm trying to think. What are the chances of him beating this case? I say Trump maybe has a 20% chance of beating this case. And the only way he's going to beat it, he has to pay off a lot of people. And honestly, guys, I don't see that happening at all. Um, The chances of Trump getting back in office is is is, is starting to narrow away. If Trump would have just kept his mouth shut when the election was over with, that he lost and he just you know kept his mouth shut, I think Trump right now will for sure get reelected to be in office. Even though I don't think he's the right guy for the job. But but. Trump is the type of person that, unless he has to, he doesn't get involved with, with, with other countries. So that would have kind of kept America out, out a little bit more debt. But other than that, 
when he pushed that narrative about the election, he screwed himself. He screwed himself. And uh, so he's not going to make it, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you guys this. All right. And uh, I wasn't going to vote for him anyway. But I know you Trump guys want him in there. It's a it's a it's a hard hill to climb. And I don't think Joe Biden should need to be running again, but maybe we, we, we're, we're stuck with Joe Biden. And as of right now, unless somebody come out of left field on the Republican side, nine times out of ten, Joe back in that bitch. And that's just fact. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got. I just want to report on that. It looked like shit's gonna get interesting, guys. But uh that's just the way that it is. Hope you guys enjoy. I'm out, guys. Peace.